Why, hello there. Nice to see you, ladies and gentlemen. My name is... Heffrey. See how that went from British to... Whatever, scratch that. My name's Jeffrey. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to see me in person. Nice to see me. That was conceited. Can't do that seriously. I literally can't do that seriously. What's up? Vote Jeffrey 2020, right? I'll be old enough to run for president. What's up? It's first ever gameplay with, um, with face cam, and I hope I'm not too ugly to completely burn your faces off, but get used to this. This right here. All. This. What's up? On a real note, hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Get the camera soon. Vlog Nation, I don't know why I'm awkwardly holding these peace signs left and right, but hey, you know what? It is what it is, right? What's up? I'll see you guys next time around. Rocky. What's going on, everybody? My name is Jeffrey, and today, today, we're going to be playing some Battlefield 1. Um, Jumping in on some conquests, gonna try to do pretty fantastic, which I'm, I'm personally, I'm sure we will, right? But uh, now, while we're playing, we're gonna talk about some uh, some DLC, because Dice DLC is coming soon. Was it March? I think it's March, which is really far away, but that's soon, you know, because it's been like what, eight years since Battlefield One came out, and then we're just now getting some DLC. But we're gonna talk about that, so let's hop into it. Welcome to the show. Okay. So with this DLC coming, we have obviously the the maps. I think I think the maps are gonna be the biggest the biggest part of the DLC, honestly for me on a personal level. But Okay, so we got four new maps coming, right? We got Verdon Heights, Fort Vow, Cess I don't know how to say the S one. Oh hold up, hold up. I'm dead. I don't even care. I don't even care that I'm dead right now. We have Fort Vow, Socians, and Rapture, right? So the Fort Verdon, there's a picture of that. It's all fiery and stuff, right? We have lost Looks sick. It's probably going to be a lot of cool stuff happen on that map, right? <laughs> I sure hope so. I'm probably going to catch on fire a lot if that's possible. Uh, but that's just how it goes for me. The Fort Vow, I don't know what to expect from Fort Vow. I don't, I don't even know, like where it even came from. Honestly, kill that fool. What's up, girl? Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Oh, I don't understand why I just saw had the came and see. Um, for that, I don't know what that's gonna be like. I'm pretty sure that's the picture that they released a while back. Just like a teaser picture. Um, in the tunnel. So that looks like it's gonna be pretty cool. Then we have we have the the Saucians or Socians. I don't know how to say that word, honestly. And it just looks like um like a nice, just a nice friendly map. I don't know. That's not. It definitely is not friendly. Good night. Um, it just looks like it's gonna be uh like a naturey type of word. <laughs> Nature. Gosh, I'm an idiot. Um, <laughs> I can't think of the name of the map. It's like Giant Shadows Town, but it's not. It's just the town. If that makes any sense. <laughs> so that one will be that'll be a pretty open world, I guess. Open world. I keep saying open world, and it? it's a freaking first person shooter. Um So that one should be pretty fun. Probably get a lot of clips on that one. Buildings and such. Should be a good shotgun map. I don't know all the specs of the maps or anything and uh or how that's gonna go down. I don't know which ones are gonna be sniper maps, which ones are gonna be obviously shotgun maps because shotguns are live. What if? What if? Um, so yeah, I don't know what the, the layouts are going to be like. Um, Verdant Heights should be pretty cool. Visually. it'll look. I think it'll look really, really good visually. Focus up. How did that I'm so dead. No, I'm not. It's an enemy scout. 
I'm so dead. I refuse to die. Now, um, Rupture, I think, is going to be the prettiest one, though. Because I got a picture of it here. And I think that one's going to be the prettiest one. I mean, just look at the, the flowers and the, the little trenches and stuff. Like, it's, it looks pretty, but I feel like there's going to be more death on that one than any of them. Other than the fire map. I'm going to die a lot on that one. I can tell you right now, that's going to be my worst map. I don't care. It's going to be my worst map. I'm just calling it. Watch. Okay. Now, but Rupture looks like it's going to be really, really pretty. And also with the DLC, we are getting a new behemoth. The Char 2C tank, I believe is what it's called. Um, I'll correct myself if I'm wrong, but... And I'm going to die. But uh, that thing looks just straight nasty. I'm get That's going to be what kills me. I'm going freaking... to break the game because of that tank. I guarantee it. It's gonna fill me with so much rage that oh that's cool that I will probably literally send a hole through my Xbox. But I don't know. We'll find out. Then you get a new um, elite class. <laughs> he looks creepy. He's got like mosquito eyes looking stuff on his face there, but um, I really don't know what he's gonna do. I haven't read anything about his specs or like what he's good at or like what kind of weapon he has. Yeah, like I said, I, I really don't know what he's going to be about, or what his skill set is, but, I mean, he looks pretty cool, honestly. I mean, it's good that we're going to have a new Elite class, because the Flame Trooper, I hate the Flame Trooper, it's, it's terrible. I'm so bad with it. But my boy's out here, reviving people like he should, living the life of a true medic. I don't know why I shot that. My homeboys are dead now, though. Oh, that's a tank. Can't touch this. Yeet! Oh, that was... That was beautiful. That was a beautiful play. The hardest thing I find about the whole YouTube situation and doing live commentary is it's continuing to talk. And right now. Because, I mean, I'm so young. I don't have a... I don't have a fan base yet. So I can't connect with anybody. I can't, like, talk to anybody or about certain things. And honestly, it's, it's really difficult to just to just talk and I know that's that's crazy to think like he has trouble talking if you know me if you knew me on a personal level you would know that I don't have an issue talking but it seems for some reason I just can't do it like consistently and keep talking while I'm playing it's hard to do because like I want to talk about my work that nobody cares about because it's it's AutoZone I work at AutoZone I sell car parts to rude people and then I mean the only other thing I could really talk about it's just games and stuff and like what I want to do, but like uh, Ghost Recon Warrior, uh, Ghost Recon Warrior, Ghost Warrior 3, it's time for Elite Ghost Warrior 3, Elite Ghost Recon, I can't remember what it's called, no but I seriously find like the hardest thing to do is just finding stuff to continually talk about non-stop, it's really actually difficult for me, which it shouldn't be, but it is, so that's what I'm trying to overcome personally for to, for growth is just talking and just getting it over with you know I always find myself pausing when I shouldn't be pausing but I do it anyway I don't know I'm a freak I guess but uh back to what everybody came here for the DLC uh, they shall not pass I think that's gonna be really good because Battlefield hit a point for me where it was just kind of stale so I'm only level 62 because man I'm telling you when I get on on this Battlefield hype I grind like I go hard right it may not seem like it with my my terrible gameplay because I'm pretty bad but honestly hold up I'm freaking out I know there was a dude somewhere oh well no, but like whenever I'm whenever I'm on battlefield, like I'm I'm trying hard and I play the heck out of it. I play like I play the heck out of this game. We are losing right? objective butter. And so I think that'll be really really good for it for uh, the fan base, just keeping it from getting boring and so. See, battlefield for me and my friend uh, me and Cordell were actually we were talking about uh, like how. How the difference in Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 4 DLC. See, Battlefield 4 released their DLC quick. Like, boom, 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 right? And so you have a span of, like, what was it? Like two years of of just already out there. I mean, you use all the guns, all the maps, everything like that. 
so you're kind of stale. <laughs> I hate horse riders. I hate cavalry. But I'm going to be one real quick. Hold up. And so we were talking about just how how quickly it got boring. And at Battlefield 4, for me, it wasn't boring at all. I love that game. It was super fun. It had a lot of fun with it. But, it, I mean, they pushed out that content quick. Come here, boy. Hold up. Come here, boy! Oh, come on, Mr. Horse. Uh, anyway, yeah, we were talking about how Battlefield 4's DLC just, they cranked that bad boy out. And it got, I mean, it didn't get boring. Like I said, it was just, there was it was already out there, so there's nothing to look forward to, right? I think Battlefield 1 is definitely, I mean, it's taking longer. We are losing objective Charlie. It's taking longer, oh my gosh, I'm trash. No, don't stop. I'm out. I'm so bad. See, I'm so bad. I'm so bad at a horse. But uh, I think Battlefield 1, the span of their DLC releases is, is golden. I think it's pretty good. Because you have the game for like four or five months and then you get a drop, right? I mean, obviously, September, November, December, January, February, March. About six months, right? And they're dropping DLC. I think that's good. It'll keep everybody kind of rejuvenated. I mean, it's kind of stretched out, but not too awful bad to where you just don't want to play the game anymore. And I think that's good. I think it was really good. Sorry about that. Controller batteries died. That's my life. The epitome of my life. Now, in a, one final thing on the DLC before we switch topics. Um, the Frontline's game mode looks like it's going to be sick. There's going to be a lot of 100 kill gameplays from your, from your boy right here, right? Because what it is, is you start out and you're trying, you're battling the other team for the flag positions. You're trying to push them back into their territory, they're trying to push you back into yours, vice versa, right? And then once you capture those territories, it turns into a rush, where you have to activate the uh, telegraphs and everything like that. So that's going to be sick. Like, that's going to be really long, really, really long gameplays. Like, really long gameplays. And obviously, you guys don't have to watch it all, but it's going to be fun to play nonetheless. Um, definitely going to go for 100 kill games. And I'm dead. Bet. You can't kill me. <laughs> I took off from like a mile away. <laughs> that dude's trash. I'm so dead. Anyway, that's going to be fun. Definitely going to get some cool gameplays out of those. But other than that, I mean, that's DLC talk right there. I don't know. What's up, right? Probably really butchered that, but hey, honestly, first game, face cam, I'm nervous. Y'all are nervous. Everybody's nervous. I'm sweating. An enemy dreadnought. I'm sweating. I'm not sweating at all. But I mean, hey, y'all are probably sweating at how fantastic I'm doing right now. What am I? 17 and 5. Man. I'm not even playing. I swear. I'm not poor. I can afford batteries. I swear. My heart. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here today. Um, sorry I didn't get out everything that I wanted to say, but I had some... <clears throat> just some minor, minor technical difficulties. I've literally just spent about the last two times at 11.45. About, about an hour and a half. I just spent about an hour and a half buying Vegas Pro 14 because somebody, not me, got the illegal version and it was just, it was pooping on me hard. Like I couldn't even, it just kept popping up um, errors, right? So I was like, whatever, I'm getting the real thing. So I bought the real thing. And I went through trouble with that because it was licensed to the uh, the illegal people and it still wasn't working. So yada, yada, yada. I think we got it fixed, I hope. <laughs> so anyways, uh, thanks for watching. If you're still here, stick around. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment what I can do better, what I cannot do, and... What you guys want to see. Yeah, that sounds good. I'll catch you guys on the next one.